Ew. Ugh. Dude, what? <laughs> What's up? How's it going? This is Kazi. Let's get into a little bit of a story time here. So the other day, the craziest thing happened. I was sitting on this chair here and I had a developer friend come over and he was coding it up. And he's, you know, by far one of the best developers I've ever seen in my life. Like his knowledge of React is absolutely insane. And he understands the API probably almost as good as Dan Ab Abramov or Dan. Yeah, I'm probably saying his name wrong, but he's the founder of, uh, you know, he created Redux and he, everybody refers to him when it comes to React. Like all things React JS is like Dan Abramov is the god of React. And when I was sitting with with uh, this gentleman, this developer, who's really, really good, he was killing it. You know, he's he's going through, he's showing me a lot of like little hacks. Uh, he was showing me a, a lot about TypeScript and how TypeScript is so useful and how he, him as a senior engineer at his company, he uses TypeScript. All of a sudden out of, you know, he, he was coding on this computer. He saw the fat cursor show up <laughs> in, in Visual Studio Code as he's coding. He's like, Vim. ew. <laughs> And I'm sitting here and I'm like, dude, what? And he just goes crazy. He sees Vim and he just can't handle it. You know, he's like, this is gross. <laughs> He's like, but all right, all right, that's fine, that's fine, no matter. And then he just keeps going. And then he keeps getting so annoyed and bothered by Vim. You know, every time he's like typing, he's like, oh, hit escape, interesting. It turns into a fat cursor again. <laughs> you know, and uh, again, super awesome dude. Love the guy, he's he's amazing. Uh, I, I'm even thinking about bringing him on the channel and actually teaching certain things. But it got me thinking, I'm like, what's up with all this fucking hate with Vim, dude? Like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? And, you know, I've seen this so many times with so many people like my friend David who works with us at Clever Programmer him too he's just always like oh Vim sucks you know I wouldn't use Vim ever and most developers that I know or have worked with they don't use Vim or they run away from Vim or they're talking shit about Vim and what I realized is most of them don't actually even know Vim and haven't even used it that much but they have so much against it and, and you know I just wanted to talk about it a little bit like it you know, Vim is not that gross, okay? And it's not disgusting and it's not, ugh, like what the fuck is this? I've been using Vim for so many years of my life. Here's what I'll tell you. Vim is literally one of the most beautiful, amazing things you could ever do in your life. Like it's, it is like mind blowing. Once you figure it out, it's like, whoa, it's a whole new world. It is your everyday, you're coding, right? And you're doing whatever you want. But like, if you start using Vim, it's like putting on these like psychedelic glasses and all of a sudden the whole world is just like, ooh, like probably how Joe Rogan views it. And you're like, whoa, this is crazy. I can do anything. I can become anybody that I want. <laughs> It's that crazy of a difference once you use it. I've never used any psychedelics, so, <laughs> but that's besides the point. But what I'm trying to say is when you do use Vim, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities for you and it is just so freaking fun to use. And it will speed you up so much. Like as a developer, you will go so fast, so fast. And what I always think when it comes to becoming a better developer is really, you know, there's different types of learning, but one of the most common ways we learn is human beings is through trial and error. So if Vim allows you to essentially double your speed, and I promise it'll allow you to way more than double your speed, but even if it allowed you to just double your speed, you've essentially doubled the speed of your trial and error, which means you'll learn twice as fast and you'll improve your skill twice as fast, which means you'll be able to get to your job twice as fast. And that sounds hopefully to you amazing and something like you should want to do and you probably should do it and learn it. Now, here's the thing and here's the catch with Vim. It has a slow learning curve. It will mess you up when you are learning Vim, okay? It will slow you down. Your productivity will be a lot slower. You'll be making a lot slow progress. And that part about Vim is frustrating, okay? That part is frustrating. It'll get to you. It'll make you mad. It'll make you angry, but that's just the name of the game, all right? So the start, there's a learning curve. It'll slow you down a lot. It has a steep learning curve, but once you're used to it, right, your productivity will go down. 
So if you start using Vim today in your Visual Studio Code or wherever, and there are extensions, you can go to Visual Studio Code and just download an extension for Vim, right? And you go into it and you start using it, it'll like shoot your productivity down into the freaking ground. It's almost like if you just started, uh, you know, if you started learning how to write with your left hand or something, it's almost like that, kind of, okay? But once you become good at it, then it's, it is crazy. It's, it's the same as if you were able to like write with both hands at the same time. So that learning curve just takes a little bit of time. Now here are a couple of things that I will tell you about Vim. They'll save you a ton of time, all right? If you wanna get into it and you wanna jump into this world, what I would recommend is go play, there's this Vim game online. It's called Vim Golf, I believe. Go play that. Go play this Vim game online. And it's like, you have a character and you move them around with Vim shortcuts and shit like that. So play that and just have fun. You'll learn how to move up, down, left, and right, which is not with your arrow keys. It's gonna be with different keys. Okay, so in Vim, you move around with H, J, K, L. Okay, H, J, K, L. So it's like weird. And you know, it's like, hey, H is moving you in weird directions. And then J, K is moving you and L is moving you in weird directions. So Vim is, Vim is literally, literally one, of one of the most beautiful, beautiful amazing, amazing things, things you could, you could ever, ever do, do in, in your in life. Your it'll throw you off. You're like, why am I moving like this? But just play, just play, just play it until it's like pattern recognition habit. And then you can bring that skill into your, you know, when you start coding. I'll give you certain few key things to get started with, all right? But my goal is to get you to start using Vim and start actually just playing with it, making mistakes, having fun. So I promise you, it'll speed up your productivity like crazy, all right? So let's say you installed it in your Visual Studio Code, okay? You, you go to your extensions, Shortcut is Command Shift X or on Windows, probably Control Shift X. You go to your extensions, you download Vim, right? And then you go back to your code. And then it's like, if you see that fat blinking arrow thing, that's the mode people don't like being in. That's like Vim mode. Just hit I or A and that'll just like put you in regular mode, okay? And then you can just like code regularly, how you normally code. Okay, so you'll be totally fine. If you hit escape, it'll put you back into Vim mode, all right? So that's just me teaching you how you get in and get out of it. Okay, and then the other few things you need to know is AJKL, how to move around. And the nice thing is once you learn it, your fingers never leave like their default position on the keyboard. So you never have to go towards the arrow keys ever to move around anywhere. You just stay in the home, like default typing position. And that will make you a lot more efficient and faster. Outside of that, you know, if you want to delete a line, just hit D twice. Just try that. And it'll like delete the whole line. All right. If you want to copy an entire line, just press Y twice, all right? And then go down somewhere and hit P, it'll paste it. As long as you're in Vim mode, all these Vim commands work, which means your cursor should be looking fat. When your cursor looks fat, you're in Vim mode. And then there are tons of other commands for you to know, but I don't even want you to worry about that right now. Like in the start, just learn to move around with AJKL. It'll be weird, but you'll get used to it, all right? DD to delete a line, slash it also kind of copies it for you, okay? So you can paste it somewhere else. YY to yank slash copy a line, P to paste. Those are some basic, basic commands to get started with. And then to go in and out of modes, INA, there's like a whole bunch of stuff, okay? I don't wanna like overwhelm you and go into a full on Vim tutorial right here. If you guys wanna want to see that or want to see like how you use it with React or whatever, let me know in the comments. But look, like as a developer, as a front end developer or whatever, like even if you're, if you're doing React, I think you should use Vim in your code. And I think it'll make you faster. You'll start building components faster. You'll like be able to move around the parentheses faster, change the arguments fast. It will just overall make your life easier in my opinion. And uh, you'll just feel like this badass hacker you know you just have this dope ass vibe about you that's why i like it okay so go out there go crazy have fun use it and uh in the comments below let me know if you use vim or if you're gonna start using vim or if you want see me make another video on vim and go deep dive whatever it is drop it in the comments below let me know if this is something you're gonna be doing other than that smash the like button so this video goes out to more people and as always i love your beautiful face this is Kazi, and I'll see you in the next video. Good stars for you with my clickbait. But that would make like, oh, wait, what? Clickbait? Nah. I mean, this isn't clickbait, so that would be clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> IQ fucking time though. Good thing we have this recording. We can add this as a BTS after the video. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we did that.
I'll fucking pay you an extra dollar.